happening right now. Visibly uh, choked up still. This is their first time speaking after uh, Thank you, my Trump friend. won last Thank night. You. Thank you. Thank you so very much for being here. And I love you all, too. Uh, last night, I congratulated Donald Trump and offered to work with him on behalf of our country. I hope that he will be a successful president for all Americans. This is not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for. And I'm sorry that we did not win this election for the values we share and the vision we hold for our country. But I feel, I feel pride and gratitude for this wonderful campaign that we built together. This vast, diverse, creative, unruly, energized campaign. You represent the best of America, and being your candidate has been one of the greatest honors of my life. I, I know how disappointed you feel because I feel it too. And so do tens of millions of Americans who invested their hopes and dreams in this effort. This is painful, and it will be for a long time. But I want you to remember this. Our campaign was never about one person or even one election. It was about the country we love and about building an America that's hopeful, inclusive, and big-hearted. We have seen that our nation is more deeply divided than we thought. But I still believe in America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. It also enshrines other things, the rule of law, the principle that we are all equal in rights and dignity, freedom of worship and expression. We respect and cherish these values too, and we must defend them. Let me add, our constitutional democracy demands our participation, not just every four years, but all the time. So let's do all we can to keep advancing the causes and values we all hold dear. Making our economy work for everyone, not just those at the top. Protecting our country and protecting our planet. And breaking down all the barriers that hold any American back from achieving their dreams. We spent a year and a half bringing together millions of people from every corner of our country to say with one voice that we believe that the American dream is big enough for everyone, for people of all races and religions, for men and women, for immigrants, for LGBT people and people with disabilities, for everyone. My thing is this, you got people upset, you know, Donald Trump won or not, I could care less at the end of the day, you know, um, as you know, Christian guy got it under control, so I ain't gonna worry about it, got a thing he's gotta worry about, you know, so he won, you know, let's go about our days and everything, and you know, yeah, just people raging, like, Facebook talking about they're going to leave, go to Canada, go to England. It was quite entertaining, but still, it's kind of annoying at the same time. 
but you know, ignorance and everything, and you know, people who did vote or whatever, who didn't vote for whatever reason is, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just think that most of the people that, you know, you need to take more into consideration are your local offices, you know, like your state, you know, the senators, people actually make the laws, because now, there's Republicans all the way, the Republican president, House and Senate, so, yeah. Michelle Obama, our country owes you an enormous debt of gratitude.